consisting of B.O.W. Tom Heisman and Matt Creed. But these two, who have been technicals as of late, who have shown great respect and tremendous sportsmanship and honor inside this ring. They are two of the rising stars in LLP. And move for move, they've had some excellent exchanges and you cannot deny that both of these individuals have tremendous skills on the mat, on the run, and flight. And we've seen Nathan Nile fly around this ring before. But Kenny Nine, last week, did a kamikaze moonsault press and acai moonsault, wiping out the opposition on the outside. And Nathan Nile, in the early going, Kenny Nolan on the shoulder! Look at that, he had to reach with his left leg uh, uh, extending towards the ropes to force the rope break as Nathan now continues to put on the pressure. Suplex after suplex, Kenny Nine is able to get the shoulder up right there. Got hundreds on hand for Luke Libre so far. They've been treated for some excellent action so far. Later on, Mega Main Event will consist of Ethel de Mascara, Sagrada, and Conan Jr. on opposite sides of the trio's tag. It has to be structured. But right now, it's one on one. Kenny Nine picked up and straddled. Nathan Nile on the top turnbuckle pad on the far side. Those steel turnbuckles and those uh, corner pads very thin. Nile, the other side backwards, center slot to avoid the contact. And Kenny Nine landed badly on the back of his head and head. And back as well. Big rocket, Nathan Nile, feeling it. The fans are being pulled. Get out of the way! Face the ground, crazy! Oh yeah! My body attack! That was amazing! That was Kenny on the floor! Nathan Nile, one of the newest LLT success stories. A high-flying luchador with no off switch. As he springs along the bottom rope into the ring with that elbow smash and a two count there. Nathan Nile 
great agility, great tumbling skill, fun, bold, interactive, lively. His matches in LLC have been show stable so far, but so have Penny's. But it's Niall on the advantage of the moment. He can grapple and fly like the best of them. And he can pick up the pace, and that's what's so intriguing about Nathan Niles' style inside of an LLC ring. He will take you down, and he will hurt you. Penny Niles in a dangerous position. Nathan Niles trying to go for the home run right here. And neither of these individuals want to be held back. They want the, they are not a hidden gem. They want to be showcased at the top of the card. Oh, Penny Nine tried a crazy body attack from this everything. And Nathan Niles with the full line. Penny got folded up badly. Got two count there. He got the shoulder up in time. This isn't over yet. Jason Nile trying to put pressure on the lower extremities of Penny Nine. The legs are trapped. And this is the grappling and the technique. Excellent submission skill. Well, Nathan Nile, the loser man, makes Penny Nine tap out right here. Penny Nine, creative, uses logic and analytical reasoning to beat his opponents. He has been studying film, he's been studying all of the LLT stars, learning what they do best. Wow, what great momentum as he sprung his legs backwards before delivering the jawbreaker right there. Kenny off the second with the moonsault press. Oh here, out of eight to dial. No, two count only. This match isn't over yet. When you study your opponents as diligently as Kenny Nine does, You'll know when to take risks, and you'll also have the experience level eventually to handle any situation. Northern Lights through play to the break, and Nathan Nile barely escapes off the back door right there. Whoa. Penny Nine, you don't want to get physical with the official. That could be cause for a disqualification or worse. You don't want to get fined here in LLT. That might stop your trajectory to the top of the tower. Nathan Nile ready to strike. And you can hear the impact of the chin of Nathan Nile driving through the chest cavity of Penny Nile. Look at this. Penny challenging Nathan Nile to do more and to hit harder. Will Penny be able to hit the Kotaro Crusher in the final level of this match? I don't believe we have uh, seen the Mexican final level in LT yet. There's a straight super kick. One of his signature moves is just laid out. Nathan Nile, and he was motionless. That kind of a high impact strike might be worthy enough of a test for a pinning attempt. But Kenny instead throws Nathan Nile to the outside. 2023, a very interesting year so far. And these two have been the major force. What's going on again? That's my move. get up on his feet and the fans already more than once on one side of the ring have had to run for cover because they weren't sure exactly where the bodies were going to tumble at any moment impressive contest with each match they are gaining experience they are getting better they are adjusting to the lucha libre style and it's not just about high impact drops it's about protecting yourself at all times in the game that suplex and he's going to try to hit a string of them if possible the unplugged cyberpunk continues with the aggression Technology, like it or not, can be used for the right reasons or it can create a lot of uncertainty as the two count there. No, technology is a bit of a distraction, especially when it consumes you. And for many individuals, technology is indeed some 
individual's entire life. And it shouldn't be oppressive. It can be used for the common good. But when you disconnect yourself at times from what the rest of society is doing, you can become more alert. You can be more aware of your surroundings. I think 29 wants to instill that in the younger generation. You don't have to have technology as an oppressive tool to hold you back. Well, look what Tyrone Fletcher, I believe he hit that move. A high flag jawbreaker off the ropes. He's got him down for the count. He did it. 29 has rolled his back and he gets his foot back against Stacey Biles back in January. Kenny and I with an impressive showing. The fans were very generous with their support, with their applause. And after that hard fought battle, they agreed. And this contest only made the two of them stronger in the end. And the great respect and appreciation shown by these two has been considerable. Face. What the heck? Who invited him to this? Oh wow! Spinning him like a top before dropping him on his head. Well, that wasn't nice at all whatsoever. And suddenly, Daniel Alonso is a factor here in Lucha Libre Total. I believe Daniel Alonso wants a piece of Kenny Nine, and he challenged him right here, right now. Will we see that match take place right here? And the challenge was made, the official. Apparently the official's been granted the permission. And we're having some bonus action here. Totally advertised. Kenny Nine, after a very physical battle, now must face Daniel Alonso here. And Daniel Alonso ran in and did the damage to both Kenny and Nate. Oh, what an exploder that was! Uh, this young man, he does not care how or why he does anything. He just goes in there and blasts through people and hurts them badly. Reverse chin lock applied. Kenny Nine. You already went through a very physical battle with Nathan Nile. It's now against all odds. Trying to win two matches back to back here, and Kenny got the shoulder up again. Daniel Alonso out of uh, True Privilege Wrestling, from what we're told. Wrestles a... A bit of a pro wrestling hybrid style of combat. He is a hard hitter, making uh, his LLT singles debut here this evening. And if he can hit the gut check, it'll be bad news for Kenny. Oh my! Kenny said, back first, roller back first, small in the back, right into the south steel ring post on the near side. Oh, he dropped him head first on the edge of the ring. The crowd and a, bit of, and a bit of stunned silence at what they're witnessing here. They were celebrating a Kenny Nine win when all of a sudden Daniel Alonso attacks. Look at that! Kenny with a nice power was able to release the pressure and send Daniel Alonso into the South Steel ring post on the far side. Daniel Alonso also known for a code breaker and a hammerlock DDT. Suplex on the floor! My goodness. Kenny and I not holding anything back right now. You attack the man after one of the biggest wins of his career? I don't know. That's uh, something 
something you gotta reevaluate. Kenny Nine slowly starts his progression to the top rope. A lot of time has elapsed between when he entered the ring, tried for the crusher, got the nine. And there is a pump cake that put Kenny Nine down onto his back. Daniel Alonso trying to go for that hammerlock DDT right here. He hit it, he might have knocked his lights out right there. And the challenge and the beatdown and the aftermath leads to can he kick out? Can he still lie to me? But for how long? It looks to me as though Daniel Alonso is still large and in charge in the LLT ring at the moment. Come on, Craigan School in front of hundreds on hand to see the way great old town this afternoon. And it was ready to go. Daniel Alonso stopped Kenny Nine from spinning in midair. It's a slam. And Kenny got the shoulder up. It's a lot of pressure being in the ring against one opponent for an extended period of time, but against two, it's almost unheard of. Devastating backbreaker as he folds Kenny Nine over his thigh. the moment, this rising star with roots in Mexico is doing the damage right here. And standing on his legs or not kneeling down or in this sort of position, I think we're learning a lot about Daniel Alonso and his strengths. But the way that he ran into this ring and attacked Kenny Nine from behind. That's not an admir admirable screen at all whatsoever. There's nothing noble or honest about it. This Daniel Alonso had evil intentions from the jump. Now there was a lot of contact, the grazing blow. I think hurt both individuals and they're both down. So this is Lucha Libre Total. We're in front of others on hand in Chicago for the action here this afternoon. This is a bonus match not advertised. As Kenny Nine uses the ropes to backpedal into the corner and notice Kenny kept his eyes on his opponent this time around. Look at this. The nice combination leads to that. Crushing break around the way down to the neck. Oh, so close. Good count there. Kenny, doing what he can to continue the aggression and the intensity. Wow. Nice inverted drop right there. That might be in right there. He got him down, stuffed him on his head. Can't believe it. Daniel Alonso got the shoulder up. This isn't over yet. Kenny Nine. Trying to block out the pain. Trying to block out any sort of fatigue and exhaustion. Look at this pickup. Daniel Alonso landed on his feet. And now it's Alonso getting ready to spin Kenny on his Oh wow. The Kenny block it. The Kenny block it. He did it. It's like Kenny. He did it. Progressing very nicely in LLP with every win. He continues to open some eyes. And uh, Kenny Nine continues to drop. <laughs> After the match, Daniel Alonzo sends Kenny Nine into the steel post on the near side. Come on, ref. Break this up. This isn't necessary. That's enough already. You lost Baron Square. Not again. Oh no. Kenny Nine got dropped 
stepped on the top of his head and he's not moving, this could be serious.
struggle right there. K9 took the best of Dan Alonso, was able to defeat him, but at the end of the day, Dan Alonso 